Hey, how did you do that? Well, come on over, let me show you. And now you try it. That's, that's really fulfilling. Letterhead, wall dog, sign painter, muralist, designer, even piano salesman. Mike McEvers has worn many titles. Remember Mad Men? That was us. He started out as a young apprentice in Detroit in the late 1960s. In 1969, I was in downtown Detroit at a very busy uh, art studio that catered to Campbell Ewald Advertising that was General Motors' main advertising agency. Mike absorbed the knowledge and experience around him and eventually left to pursue sales, but found his way back after 16 years becoming a letterhead. So we call ourselves letterheads if we really are an anti-computer font person. We know type styles from old books. Uh, we're very particular about those kinds of things like kerning and spacing and, and the weight of the letter and all of that. And today's overnight sign paint or sign shop doesn't know what we're talking about. But Mike doesn't see an all out battle between the old ways and new ways. There's enough work for real artists if they know how to market themselves. They don't have to be intimidated by a, a quickie shop down the street that doesn't know what they're doing, but they have a computer program that does it. Just stay with what you're doing and let people know that you're a purist and you have a talent and uh, it'll divide between what the demographic is. If someone wants a fast, cheap, block letters on their window of a store, it's probably not for us. Go get that guy and he'll be cheaper anyhow because we're gonna get out our equipment and our tape and our brushes and, and our aprons and we're gonna do it the way it's been done for 200 years. Annual wall dog meets gathering around 200 muralists and sign painters to a small town each summer allow Mike and other artists to see old friends, to swap ideas, and to pass along their craft to the next generation, such as second generation wall dog, Sharina Vargas. Her father was a genius in this craft for many years in California, and uh, she's carrying it through. And, and her children know what she does, she's gonna continue it. There is a pass down thing happening right now. Look at the ages of all the wall dogs. We got some newbies every year and that's exciting for us old farts. He won't try to compete with the youth though. Mike knows his limitations. I'm not a fan of up and down ladders anymore. It's just a matter of arthritis and some of those, you know, joint issues and uh, up and down ladders, some scaffolding. Even this year, I avoided working on murals that had too many scaffolding things. And to those that have always wanted to try their hand at sign painting, Mike says it's never too late. Have you done it before? And do you need some help? Come on over to the shop. Let's, let's have some fun, sling some paint.